Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today we're reacting to Norm Macdonald on what would he do if he met OJ. I don't know why I read that like that. Let me try that again. Norm Macdonald on what would he do if he met OJ. Let's see what he has to say. I never told you this story, Norm, but I was uh, I went to play golf in the valley one day. We got to play golf, by the way. Oh, I remember yeah. we were supposed to play. I just I, yeah, I play with my son once a week now. Hey, he's 10. We go right to Penmar, play nine holes once a week. Oh. Come. Yeah, let's go out. Um, so I go to um, play golf at Hanson Dam. You know that course up in the valley? It's off the 118. It's great. And so I'm there with uh, Jackie Flynn. You know that comic? And we're going to play. And so they, they say we're going to put, put you with two other players. And so uh, we're standing there waiting for the two other players. And uh, over walks uh, O.J. Simpson. And his friend. Stop. And so I just look at the heavens like, thank you. No way. First off, I've never heard anyone refer to someone as a colic. Like, I feel like he meant it as an insult. Like, yeah, you know that jerk kind of thing. But like, for me, I know colic as like a colicky baby or a calic like in your hair. But what, how, what does that mean when you refer to somebody as a colic? Do I have a new word in my vocabulary? New insult, if you will. Uh, secondly, I can't even imagine this. My husband is a, an avid golfer, and he doesn't play on courses often where they match him up. Um, but I always say to him, like, what is that like to, like, do a whole 18 holes with a stranger? Like, what is that like? Um, imagine if that stranger was OJ Simpson. And I don't know the time frame of this. Like, is this OJ then or OJ post jail for stealing all of his items back <laughs> which, which which OJ is this because I think that also means some things um what what are the no seriously he's like I had to thank the heavens like what are the odds and if he's a comedian then this made for great material which I have a feeling this guy must be a comedian if he's doing some type of podcast or interview with Norm and his friend and so I just look at the heavens like thank you Thank you, comedy God, oh, for this opportunity. You, you know, four and a half hours on a course with uh, Jackie Flynn being from Boston goes, fuck that. I ain't playing with that fucking murderer. Oh, no. And so OJ kind of just, just oh. he didn't even get angry. He just sort of turned around and, you know, sauntered off. And I, sure I was always curious before. what you would have done in that situation. Me? I don't see. The, listen, man. Like, I was like, fuck, I don't give a shit about any of these people. I don't even think of them as real people. Like, uh, everybody was angry when that Casey Anthony. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, uh, that's just some lady <laughs> with a killed her kid. I don't care. Yeah. So oh, if I met Norm. Casey Anthony, I'd just be, oh, that, she's a celebrity. It's kind of hot. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, no. when uh, I spent most of my time during the trial looking at her tits. <laughs> okay, this makes me feel like this must have been somewhere in the... 2010s because I do remember the Casey Anthony case happening like in 2010 2011 I used to work as a hostess in a restaurant inside of a hotel in um the financial district in New York and every day we watched it like during our like family meals in the restaurant like it was on all day long and I remember like being glued to it so I'll never forget that like time so the fact that Norm referenced that making it feel like it was recent makes me feel like this was in the like maybe first half of the 2010s or so, um, which just gives context to when the story with OJ and the golf thing happened, um, which I think matters because it's again, like which version of OJ are we talking about? And by that time, I feel like he's probably encountered so much of that of people being like, I don't want to be in the same room with him. I don't want to be around him that he what could he do other than saunter off? Norm, though, like, I don't give a who the, like, uh, I get what he's saying as far as, like, I'm not starstruck by them or I don't let what I've heard in the media make me dehumanize them. I get what he's saying, but it's, like, the Casey Anthony thing is, like, and I recently watched the, like, most recent documentary. I think it was on Hulu. I don't know which way to go, but I know when that when that was going on, my heart was just broken for that little girl because what in the world? Like what in the world? Okay, anyway, back to them. <laughs> because I never get, I don't get sad about stuff like that. I don't know if there's something missing in me or. Oh, no. But I don't give a fuck. 
If okay. a guy, if somebody killed their kid, I didn't know her in the first place. I didn't know she didn't kill her kid. You know, it's hard <laughs> for me to really. Oh, he's talking about the mom, not the little girl. Okay. Stuff. That's, that's so funny because that's in theory, according to some people, the why you lost your job at SNL is because you were taking shots at OJ and Don Allmeyer, who was running mm. NBC at the time, sort of. Uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. If this is an urban myth kind of laid down the line that you were not to make OJ jokes any longer because he, he was a neighbor anyway? of his. Oh. Well, yeah, that's what they said. But still, I didn't, I, if I met OJ, I would be like, you might go, fuck, God damn, I, I want to hang out with that guy. Well, and when actually, we were on sports show, we, I tried to get interviewed. Norm MacDonald talked to what? OJ's lawyer for <laughs> a funny. half hour on the phone <laughs> trying to get an interview with OJ in prison. That happened four months ago. Well, the lawyer said, this was funny, he goes, oh. When was OJ in prison for all that stuff? Because now I'm like, I feel like, I don't know why my, I don't know. 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 <laughs> I bet OJ would do it. He didn't have no idea who I was, right? And so it was very funny to think because when he came back, he goes, are you the, are you a, a comedian? <laughs> <laughs> are you and that? I go, I go, yeah. He goes, oh, you're the comedian, Norm MacDonald? You're a comedian? I go, yeah. He goes, Oh yeah, he goes. OJ doesn't like you at all, <laughs> and uh, oh. and I just imagine this retired lawyer like going to OJ, and then OJ yeah. going, "What the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking?" Because he probably went like it was a big like right. Yeah. Uh, Norm McDonald wants to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like my uh, I got my man whose uh, assistant phones me up. He got a new assistant, so she phones me up all the time, <laughs> and uh, I tell her she has no clue. Like, you know, she phones me up. She goes, Norm, we have a wonderful opportunity for you. I go, well, really? What is it? She goes, uh, Vegas High Life Magazine wants to interview you. <laughs> I'm like, you mean my, I'm doing that Vegas gig next month? Yeah. They want to do an interview with you. I go, you shouldn't start that sentence by going, it's a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> but that's probably why he went in with OJ, you know, with this wonderful opportunity. Right, right. But so is he, is, is OJ actively receiving interview requests you know i mean like how come i there think aren't more the guy interviews? needs to make money but how I come there that... aren't more i was at a party with a friend so I noticed... oh here we go with this uh i feel like oj will always have interview opportunities because people just want to understand his very complicated brain oh no it's a clip of i remember seeing this he's like on the golf course or something did i see this or have has he filmed very many like many of these <laughs> okay let's find out this whole hoodie compilation thing in the middle of these, like, I mean, you know, whatever. Get your get your money. Now, coming soon to Twitter, you'll get to read all my thoughts and opinions on just about everything. Now, there's a lot of fake OJ accounts out there. So this one. I didn't see this At one. the real OJ32 is the only official one. So this should be a lot of fun. I got a little getting even to do. So God bless. Take care gonna be the coolest thing ever coming soon not norm retweeting it norm <laughs> norm is like the original troll hey oj it's norm listen be careful about the videos you put out there i recognize the golf course behind your house i know that exact street and could easily print your address of course i never would but others would be careful julie <laughs> norm was literally the original troll like he literally like he he started it like and i love this I, be careful juice like what <laughs> and i know the juice was his like nickname but i just think like to to um this has so much sarcasm undertone in it like so much sarcasm i don't think that he doesn't know the golf course i'm just saying like the implication that he really cares about oj's safety when he just told us he don't care about anybody but himself <laughs> Oh, my like lips hurt. I can't from like laughing, you know. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh, scenes from stabbed two people at the scenes from uh the weekend update. Here we go. Same time. <laughs> In a brilliant move during closing arguments. Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. (laughs) 
Well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. The smirk makes for the perfect picture to go with what Norm just said. So am I to understand, like I, I get that Weekend Update was like Norm's segment. I'm not sure if he wrote it and like created it, but I understand that like the segment was synonymous with Norm. But am I to understand that like he came on and no one knew what he was going to say or there was a script and he went rogue? Like how was it that he ended up getting fired? Because my thought is, well, SNL is a scripted show. So was he going off script? But if so, how were there photos to go along with it? You know what I mean? I just, I like don't necessarily understand the whole scope of it. Um, but this feels maybe a little unprecedented. Like there was never really anything on TV that poked fun at or, you know, highlighted the flaws in maybe the justice system or pop culture or, you know, like all of these things, at least maybe not on a comedy show in the tone in which Norm did, which I can understand how it ruffled some feathers and had some panties in a bunch. I get it. A down and out OJ Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best. Oh, gosh. Oh, killing gosh. people. <laughs> Norm. <laughs> hey, Twitter world. You know, for years, people have been able to say Twitter whatever world? they wanted to say about me with no accountability. But now I get to challenge a lot of that BS and set the record straight. More importantly, I'll be able to talk about everything, especially sports, fantasy, football, and even politics. But for now, let me just say to my fellow fathers out there, happy Father's Day. And God. I just wonder who is on his team that like, approves these things even though he does strike me as like the narcissistic type to like not care so maybe that's what it is i don't know i don't know i don't know anywho well there's that now we know what norm would do would he have ever met the simpson do with that what you will and go and have the day you deserve bye <laughs>